Welcome back to the Solutions Manual. In this video, we will solve the problem F8-5 from RC Hippeller Engineering Statics 12 Edition. According to this problem, we have to determine the minimum force P that can be applied without causing movement of the 250LB grid that has a center of gravity at G. The coefficient of static friction at the float is 0.4. Before solving this problem, we have to realize the fact that P can do two things. P can cause the grid to slip on the floor or it can cause the grate to tip over. So we will solve this question. So we will solve this problem by considering both these possibilities. So if Slipping occurs objects can be treated as as particles. So now for case one, let's call this case one in which the slipping occurs. We will consider the crate as a particle. So the free body diagram of the crate, considering it as a particle, would look something like this. I have a weight acting downwards. I have a normal reaction acting upwards. I have the force P acting towards right and I have a frictional force in the left hand side direction. Let's label them. This is the normal reaction that is the weight. This is the force P and that is the frictional force. Let's just call this F. So now we can apply the equations of the equilibrium. So we have sum of the forces in x direction equals to zero. I'm considering right hand side as positive. So we have P minus F equals to zero. But we know that frictional force could also be written as mu as N. And here, the value of mu s is 0 0.4. So this equation becomes P minus 0 0.4 N equals to 0 or P is equals to 0 0.4 N. Let's call this equation 1. But we can see that we have two unknowns and one equation. So we need another equation. So our second equation will be sum of the forces in y direction equals to zero. I'm considering up direction as positive. So we have n minus w equals to zero, but w is 250 lbs. That is provided in the problem. So n is equals to also 250 lbs. Now put this value of n, put this value of n in equation 1, in this equation. So from equation 1, P becomes 0 0.4 times of 250 albies and P is equals to 100 albies. So by considering the case of slipping, the P comes out to be 100 LBs. 
this is our one of the answers one of the possible answers for p now what is the second possibility now if that tipping over occurs so the case two if tipping over occurs in tip over we consider the objects are treated as rigid bodies we can't assume them particles now now they will be treated as rigid bodies So now if I consider the crate as a rigid body, now what are the forces that are acting on this crate? Let us draw them. So we have a weight force acting downwards. We have a frictional force to the left. Let's label them. We have another force that is the normal reaction force but the question is what is the location of normal reaction force now by looking at this figure we can see that the tipping over would occur about this point Let's mark it as point A. The tipping over would occur at point A. So in the cases where tipping over occurs, the normal reaction, the normal reaction N would be drawn on the point about which that tipping over occurs. In this case, the tipping over is occurring at point A. So the normal reaction would be drawn at point A like this. Let's table it. Now we are going to apply the equation of the equilibrium. We only have to use the one equation that will be enough. So our equation would be sum of the moments about point A equals to zero. I am considering counterclockwise moment as positive. Now the frictional force F and the normal reaction are passing through the point A. So they will not produce any movement about point A. The weight is trying to rotate the crate in counterclockwise direction about point A. So it would be taken as positive. And the moment arm for the weight force is this distance. That is 1.5 bit. Now for the force P. The force P is trying to rotate the crate in clockwise direction about point A. So it will be taken as negative. And the moment arm for the force P is this perpendicular distance. That is 4.5 bit equals to 0. But we know that weight is equals to 
250 algaes. So from this equation, P comes out to be 83.33 algaes. This is the second possible answer for the force P. So that was our first possibility and this is our second possibility. This is it for this problem. I hope you will find this video helpful. If you do, please make sure to subscribe to this channel and also turn on the bell icon for the daily updates. And if you have any questions or any doubt about the location of the normal force, you can ask in the comment section and I will answer it as soon as possible. Thank you.